Hey, yo, what, yo, what, yo, what, yo, what, yo, what's good, YouTube, baby? Hey, good morning, y'all, man. It's your boy, Soldier, coming back with another message, man. And uh, this is a part two. This is a part two to the message I did yesterday, y'all, pertaining to a lot of you all. You got demons around you in your life, in your personal life, you know, that you have no idea what these folks have in their inner souls around you. This, 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 this about that, man. We got to talk about that. So, well, uh, in this part two, you know, you already know if you are not spiritual, this is not for you. If you are looking for entertainment, if you are looking for something to fit a vision and what you want to walk in, go look on YouTube. You can find somebody who is fitting the exact criteria of whatever fakeness you want. Or you can go to a church. It's a church around every corner that supplies your fakeness of your fake faith. Now, this is for the real ones who want real faith. All those who are part of churches, organizations, all these things of this earth that's led by men and this YouTube stuff, you are two-thirds, man. Ain't none of this stuff for you. It's for the serious ones, man. So let's get into this, man, this morning, man. And uh, we're going to get back on this topic of you holding on to somebody. It's somebody out there, man. You holding on to everything that Yahweh is telling you to use your faith and apply faith in that area of the relationship you in. It's a woman out there. You in a relationship with a deadbeat, no good guy. Yahweh has blessed you with a job and things of that nature. And you're taking care of this bum. You see what I'm saying? And long as you doing stuff like that, Yahweh's going to strip your blessings from you. And ultimately, he's going to punish you because you're not obeying by getting these main demons out your life who are two thirds. Now, you can identify two thirds as a person that don't want the Lord at all. And it's ladies in relationship with these dudes taking care of these dudes. Likewise, with the brothers, it's a brother out there. You a good hearted brother. You the bill winner. You the, you the bread winner. You get money. You know what I'm saying? And you love the Lord. And you got this nagging evil chick always around you, under you. And you can feel the sense that she using you. She don't love you. You see what I'm saying? She only with you because you got a good job. OG out there. You an older guy. You with somebody young. Tw 10, 20 years younger than you. And she knows she using you. She already know the sex ain't that good because you're getting older. You know? And... I'm saying all that to say this, as long as you holding on to people like this and you calling out to the Lord, that person is going to be a demon in your life. Now, I have to reiterate these messages because they took all my stuff down on YouTube because it helped people. My stuff is not something I'm Googling. I'm hearing this stuff directly from the most high, man. And this is why I'm redoing messages like this, because I'm tired of seeing people getting held back who saying you love the most high. If you say you love the most high, you have to use faith in the areas of people you are building relationships with and all. And this is a serious topic that we're talking about in this part two as to whereas when Yahweh telling you in your heart and he's showing you by this person actions, this person don't want the Lord and you're sticking with these type of people in your life. This person going to be a demon. Now, I gave you valid details in part one. And when we're touching on these house niggas, I got to touch on you house niggas in these houses and these older women. It's a lot of older women. You got a lot of demonic sons around you right now. They don't give a damn about you. You see what I'm saying? And you're sitting back hoping the Lord bless you and your whole household when you are not walking in order with the most high, man. You see what I'm saying? It's one thing, like I said, it's one thing for you to praise him. But you got to have everybody in your house in one accord with the most high in some type of way. Now, it's a lot of women who is older. You see your oldest son. It could be, you know, a big family or it can just be one son you're holding on to. It varies. But all in all, it's mainly a lot of women are holding on to their firstborn sons. You see what I'm saying? And if you have a big family full of sons and daughters as well, this applies to you all too. If you have these big families or these little families, you know, and you're chosen and, and Yahweh wants to move in your life and you really want the most high, you have to filter out. So you got to filter out the, the, the things that you have love for. You see what I'm saying? Arrest these people will turn into demons in your day to day life. And you have no idea. You see what I'm saying? And this is what I call when I look at these house niggas. I can see all the fake love that they show in their mothers. They don't clean. They don't clean the house or nothing. You see what I'm saying? And 
I'm saying all this to make a point. A lot of you people who want to be blessed have been waiting for so long, and it's your fault. Your blessing is right on this narrow path, but you want to follow what you want to follow. You see what I'm saying? You want to hold on to the very things that Yahweh is saying, let go of. You see what I'm saying? And this is why I say you'll see a lot of house niggas in these times, a lot of grown 40, 50 year old men in their mother's houses. You see what I'm saying? Now, ain't like they got led back to the house or nothing. They never left because mom don't want them to leave. Mom got a spirit on her where she's scared to be alone. And it'd be the ones who saying they love the most high. Two-third women, two-third parents rock like that, man. Two-third parents who love Satan, you know, they, they rock like that. They hold on to their family. You see what I'm saying? A lot of these satanic folks who sold their souls to the devil, they sold their souls for their families to be successful. You see what I'm saying? And I'm saying all this to make a point. You as a one-thirder, when you're walking in line with Yahweh, you got to love him wholeheartedly and just him. You see what I'm saying? Or rest. The ones who are around you, who are not delivered and who are not one accord with you, I don't care how much you love them. That person is going to be a hindrance and a demon. And Yahweh like, I can't bless you. I can't bless you because you are not raising men. You see what I'm saying? You are raising your children just like the Hollywood celebrity sellouts. You are raising your children just like the average two-third you know, woman on the streets who, who who don't focus on the most high. She's focused on, on personal plans and things like that, which it don't sound like there's nothing wrong with that. But if Yahweh is not involved in that at the maximum level of your every step of your house, you are wasting your energy and time on your personal desires. And that's what two third women do. So this is why you see, you know, you know, like I said, the curses of church, church and religion put this curse on a lot of people and they stuck with that mind state as to whereas they call on the Lord just for their families and stuff to be blessed. You see what I'm saying? And church teaches you that. And a lot of people who say they love the most high Yahweh, whatever name you trying to get into with the Hebrew version of it. This is the reason why you won't fully say his real name, because you haven't came to the identity of him with, with by faith because you've been led by churches. You've been led by evil family members and all. You see what I'm saying? When Yahweh is telling you to let these people go so he can make men and women out these people. Yahweh wants to the, the head of the household to, to step up and really be patrolmen for him of your house, man. You know what I'm saying? These women, Yahweh wants you women out here to be strong warrior women. Not no emotional weak women who is looking for comfort with making babies. That's all I'm seeing is a bunch of ratchet thoughts who looking for some love. And they don't love the most high. They don't, you can talk to them about the Lord all day. And you can even try to reach them on the level that they're at. Talking about, you know, Jesus love you, right? Just to reach them on the level that they're at. And Yahweh used church and Jesus and all this stuff to test your heart. And when you come at these little ratchet chicks on the streets, they don't care nothing about no Jesus. And these be the main ones who've been going to these churches and stuff. You see what I'm saying? So women in general, you know, women in general. Demons are in your life through men. You see what I'm saying? Through a lot of men in your life, man. Via be your son. It could be a relationship you in right now. And you can see this person don't want the Lord. You can see your son don't want no Lord. He could be possibly playing to the devil. You see what I'm saying? And this is why I say a lot of you are, you older parents. It could be a man or a woman going through this type of situation, but it's mainly women because they're emotional and stuff. And like I said in yesterday's message in part one, Kanye West's mother got sacrificed for a sacrificial sacrifice due to she had this same spirit on her. There's a lot of people who say they love the Lord, these women of the Lord have on them to this second, man. They holding on to these grown men in the house and you want everybody who, you know what I'm saying, you want, you basically want to be like Kanye West's mother and guide success for your family. You see what I'm saying? And Kanye... He fully got demon possessed with all this free time he had in the room with his mama babying him all day. And he up in the room praying and doing Ouija boards to Satan and all this. And Satan said, you know what? I need you to sacrifice your mama. And then I'll make you famous, man. This is what the Holy Spirit told me when I saw the situation, man. And then shortly after this, this nigga go to Dubai and put a hit out on his mama. You see what I'm saying? And I'm saying all that to say this, man. For you women out here who saying you love the most high, 
You got a demon in your life right now. You know what I'm saying? Via be through your son. It could be through your boyfriend. It could be through some man you let in the house. Due to this spirit on you, as to whereas you want to guide your life or faith. You want to guide faith. You don't want to walk with the most high and say, you know what? Yahweh, fulfill this loneliness in me. You know what I'm saying? I want all these people from around me who don't love the most high. And you got and, and a lot of you all, I told you already how to do it. A lot of you all, it's too late for you. It's too late. Your son is damn near 50 some years old. You've been babying this nigga. He ain't been paying no bills or nothing. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this in various houses. You see what I'm saying? And these niggas are not warriors of these times due to this, man. And they turn into demons by you holding on with this demon spirit on you. And I told you in many messages in the past, and I always use this when it comes down to these mothers of these men. You see what I'm saying? I always use this. Moses' mother, man. Moses' mother pushed Moses off in that basket. You see what I'm saying? Because if she would have let him stay in the city, he was going to die because it was a hit out on all the firstborn. You know what I'm saying? Because they wanted to find the chosen one, Moses. You see, so they start killing all the babies. So she was like, you know what? I got to do this. If I don't push him off and use faith, I'm going to die. He going to die. And ain't going to be no future. Ain't going to be no future. And by her obeying and pushing him off, we here today. The Hebrews, the true Hebrews here today. Because Moses led the, the, the Hebrews out of Egypt, out of slavery. Yet and still them folks were demonically possessed, evil knuckleheads who didn't want to obey the most high just like these people today yet and still the true ones from the seed is still here i'm here thanks to moses you see what i'm saying everybody who loves the most high for real from pureness of heart and who real with the most high we here because of moses black moses man moses was black and he led the black hebrew israelites you know what i'm saying all due to his mother making that smart decision and using faith. It wasn't nothing else she can do when she pushed them in the water. It's crocodiles all in the water. He could have died, man. You see what I'm saying? But fast forward to 2019. You see all these grown ass niggas in these fucking houses, man. Excuse me for cussing. I don't give a damn what you people feeling. This is street ministry that I do. And my heart is riled up with straight truth. And I will be a straight liar if I will come before you with this fake silo arm and all this in my videos, man. You know what I'm saying? And the truth is in me, so I'm not perfect. So I'm going to cuss, man. And y'all is tired of you damn fake people, man. You ain't obeyed nothing, man. Now you got to look at your son for 2019, lady, saying you love the most high. You didn't do what a Moses mother did in none of your life with none of your children. You didn't do it, man. You understand what I'm saying? That's why you sitting here right now waiting on a blessing, man. And your bum ass son up in there, he don't give a damn about you. Because this demonic spirit that fell on him because you've been babying him. And he's been in the house for a long ass damn time, man. The hell you talking about, man? It's a parent out here. Millions of you parents out here living like this, man. And until you learn how to let woman, until you learn how to let things go, Get you some fresh air, man. Get you some fresh air. Go sit on the damn porch. Get you some fresh air, man. You sitting up in the house killing yourself, waiting on the Lord to bless you, and you ain't obeying nothing. Got these grown bum-ass niggas with bills in their names that you paying for. You understand what I'm saying to you? Tell him to get a job. What are you scared of, man? This ain't no damn game, man. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm out here in the trenches pushing this word for the most high. You got to be a strong woman to listen to my stuff. You got to be a strong woman to listen to my stuff. That's why I'm doing part three on speaker, y'all. Join me at Soldier for Yahweh Ben Yahweh on speaker.com shortly later, y'all. I'm going to do a part three to this. This is part two. And I'm freestyling from my loins and my gut with the Holy Spirit pertaining to you women. Once again, and you brothers, this applies to you too. But you brothers, you already know what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a man. You got to build on yourself first, man. You already see Satan then, then, then try to mess our records up. You know what I'm saying? You see Satan want us in the jail. Satan want us dead. You see what I'm saying? Satan hate the black Hebrew face of a black powerful man. He hate that. You understand what I'm saying? We, us black men, we surrounded around white fucking devils, man. No racism intended when I say white devils as well. You know what I'm saying? For you good hearted Gentiles. It don't, Gentile only mean other races and nationalities. That's only what Gentiles mean. 
But for you racist redneck white devils and you Don Perignon sipping uh, elite boss man in these buildings in New York and all this stuff, y'all finna get it, man. You see what I'm saying? This is the type of stuff us Hebrew men, we got to focus on, you know what I'm saying, real hardcore stuff, man. We got devils that don't want to see the real Hebrew man have nothing. You see what's happening to me on YouTube with this truth I spit, man. They don't want soldier to have nothing. You see what I'm saying? But Yahweh, he drives me. He don't want to keep me going because you see the light on me. You see what I'm saying? You see the light on me. Even if I put my hand up to the screen, the whole background, my whole aura shines with heavenly light, man. But can't nobody else see this because Yahweh not rocking with no fake souls, man. You see what I'm saying? So for my brothers, y'all know what y'all got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to man up. We got to get our strength up, man. It's demon soldier niggas. It's, it's reptilians, all this stuff out here. We got clones out here. We got soldiers and lieutenants out here. They training day and night. While you niggas ain't training, man. We got to get our muscles up and everything, man. Because when they come kick your door in, Yahweh... Is looking at how much did you perform for him before he pr protects and bless you, man. How real was you with him when time of war come, man? And this is why I say I'm helping y'all niggas get real now. For the black Hebrews and any other race, you know what I'm saying, who love the most high, which is only going to be 10% of you other races. 90% of you white devils got to get it. 90% of you Arab devils got to get it. 90% of you Asian devils got to get it. 90% of all you other races are going into slavery. By the hands of black men By the hands of Hebrew black men And that's on everything And that's why I'm saying I'm setting everything in line Before my master sets things in order for war See what I'm saying So brothers stay tuned for the train And I'm still getting my body up man Back in order man Satan trying to drain us brothers on every level But you women It's a part two for you women And you know how I get man When I got the most high speaking to me telepathically my loins just get the yelling. I get the yelling. I don't give a damn who around. You understand what I'm saying? Because you women, if you want the most high, you got to really fight for him, man. You've been fighting for Satan. You've been fighting for your own blessings in a temporary world that's corrupted, that got to be destroyed and remixed by Yahweh. So when you look at him, you got to fight. When you call to him, you got to fight the battle with him. You see what I'm saying? Your son, you can't have love for your sons and all this stuff just because they came out your belly. Who gives a damn if he came out your belly, man? You see what I'm saying? If he a devil, a lot of you women had demons come straight out your belly. You had a demon come straight out your belly. And this is why Yahweh is telling you, get rid of this nigga. You see what I'm saying? So I can show him that I'm real as he go through the trenches. You see, but the chosen one of the house, the chosen ones of these houses, y'all the ones going through hell seeing this, while these demonic mothers, they be babying and, and favoritizing them, you know what I'm saying, the demons that came out their stomach. But the chosen one that came out their stomach, you done been through homelessness. Your mom didn't call the police on you. You got a lot of demonic brothers you around who's stalking your blessings. Me personally, I can't do a video without a weird spirit at my house watching my video. Then I come back, they all quiet. You see what I'm saying? Yahweh put me through all these experiences and led me back to my mother's house so I can give y'all these messages before he moved me to the next level. You understand what I'm saying? So I am not a house nigga. I travel all over the world. He led me back. I said, Lord, I really don't want to go back here, Lord. But he was like, son, I don't want you homeless. So go over there, build your money up and get out of there. You see what I'm saying? But from what he's teaching me, y'all, this is to help a woman get blessed. Stop with this weak emotional spirit, man. And you see the chosen ones of the house. You've been putting them through hell, man. This was one other reason why Yahweh upset with you. You see what I'm saying? This is one other all chosen real men, uh, ch chosen Hebrew black men. If you were, if you chosen, I guarantee you, especially in the big house, I guarantee you, your sisters are demons in your life. Your brothers are demons in your life, man. I guarantee you. You see what I'm saying? And you must stand alone. You see what I'm saying? And your mother has been tormenting you with this spirit that's on her and she favors everybody else. That's a demon on her, man. You see what I'm saying? And Yahweh wanted me to let you parents know who rocking like this. Repent now. Get that demon out of you. And you tell your bum ass sons to get jobs and stuff, man. What are you talking about, man? You shouldn't be sitting here suffering as a woman of the most high. You shouldn't be sitting here lacking right now, man. And this is why I'm pissed off because you bum ass niggas need your ass beat. Get up and get a job, whole ass niggas. They, they, they got, man, 
I can go get a, a, a temp job right now, have some decent money in my pocket and all of that. But Yahweh got me with these jobs on YouTube. I have another job in real life. Yahweh set me straight off faith. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going with nobody helping me or nothing. And then when I look, you can see women doing this, man. They're baby. These other bum niggas in these houses. I see this, man. You see what I'm saying? And this is why I say, man, my real ones, if you living in households like this, man, stay focused on the most high, yo. This is a this is a serious situation a lot of young men are going through, man. You see what I'm saying? And it's your mother's fault, man. And it's the reason is Satan taking the men out the houses, man. Satan taking the men out the house. He killing us, man. But now that the 400-year mark is broken and, and our slavery is ended, all real hearts going to be blessed. All real warrior women going to be blessed. And it's not too late for you. Yahweh, it ain't never too late for a woman to get to Yahweh. He showed that with 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 uh with uh with old girl Sarah. Sarah wasn't able to bore a child until she was old. You understand what I'm saying? She was gonna give up. And statistically, you know what I'm saying? In this life, a woman can't have no baby at the age of 90 in this life. But Sarah did back then. Sarah had a baby and she was 90 some years old. And her baby was the blessed baby. Of many nations, man. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, probably not in that exact format, but go Google that scripture, man. So it ain't too late for an older woman out there, a young woman out there to set things in order. Y'all too emotional, man. These demons and these emotions on you women is going to take y'all to the plinth, you know what I'm saying, to the pits of hell, the planet of misery, whatever you choose to identify this place, man. And this is why you see all black women, they'll go to ghetto gaggers. They'll go on these porno sites and let these devils Pop in them and, 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 and fuck them in the ass and all this stuff and swallow they semen and all this stuff. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, a lot of these women, when you see them doing that, this is why. Their emotions have led them right to the white man's cock, man, for some money. Because they don't know how to talk to the most high, man. They don't know how to talk to the Lord and be soldiers for the Lord. So they'll get on their knees for these bosses on these jobs. They'll get on their knees for the boss at McDonald's. They'll get on their knees. For, for, for any little come up out here, man. I'm seeing this chick. I'm, see, I'm even seeing homeless little chicks who need the most high to get them out of homelessness. They'll meet a man in homelessness and misery love company. You understand what I'm saying? You see, so women, man. Women. This is for y'all real fast. And brothers as well. I gave it all of y'all in this part two. I'm doing a part three in audio on my other outlet, man. So join me over there because I don't like YouTube. I don't like YouTube because... Every time I really put out my heart on YouTube, Yahweh told me this stuff. But then when you look at another false prophet, they speaking out their ass. Yahweh ain't telling them nothing. And I'm putting in strenuous energy and strength into this, and I'm seeing this in reality. And Yahweh, he always rocks and moves with those who move by faith. Not through no book, through no church, through no religion. I don't go to none of that stuff. I will punch a pastor in the face. I will rip the Hebrew robe off your, you Hebrew fake niggas. Ain't none of y'all niggas ever really been to warfare, man. And I'm out in the harvest of the battlefield and I'm seeing this, yo. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say, Yahweh put this on my heart for you women first, man. For you women and you brothers, man. You women, it's a downfall coming, man. When, when destruction and chaos is breaking out, Donald Trump is setting this shit up. So when these missiles get to fall and all these other nations attack the United States because this is what the United States is built upon. Straight sin that got to get destroyed. Every other nation around us is being judged by the most high right now. If you Google China, they getting the chip right now. They all got to get chipped. They got a uh, curfew over there in China. You see what I'm saying? And they can't even stand on the corner without the intercom coming on with some with somebody saying, hey, go in the house. It's, it's eight o'clock. You understand what I'm saying? So if, if Yahweh is allowing all this to happen around us, United States ain't got touched yet. You see what I'm saying? And this is why Yahweh using me to do this message, because it's a bunch of stuck up women in this state. In the, in the United States, it's a bunch of women who are led off emotions. And the scattered tribe is really all over here in the United States. The scattered true hot tribe of Hebrews, we all over here. But nobody knows the most high because in the United States you have church that's, that's brainwashing you women and men. We got these fake camps. Nobody has a real one-on-one -on -one connection with the most high by their damn self, praying by their self, walking on these streets by their self, with him by their side. Because you never will talk this. And this is why they blocking me on YouTube. And this is why it's so hard for me to get y'all this. Because this is not my kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm preaching for the kingdom of gold. I'm preaching for the black Yahweh, the most high. His name ain't Jesus and none of y'all was taught, man. 
His name, his son's name is Yahweh Ben Yahweh, man. And his father's name is Yahweh. And you look in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? If you look and, and, and you look in the dictionary, the name of Yahweh, they saying it means Satan. But then if you look, you, they say Yahweh, Yahuwah, all these other names, his name. But that one distinct name, they saying it means Satan. That's to tell you knuckleheads everything right there because Satan a damn idiot. You know what I'm saying? He can't block the truth. He only can confuse you. But if you do your valid research and research the things that they hidden from us, you will realize we Hebrews, we stuck in this United States right now because y'all always scattered us over here. We under their rulership. We was under their rulership. You see what I'm saying so far as spiritually we were in bondage because Yahweh put us under a curse. He turned his back on us because in Deuteronomy, us black folks, we always was like this. We was disobedient. We was haters of each other. We wanted to, you know, have sex all day. We wanted, we didn't want to obey no most high, yo. Just like the people today. But now that the 400 year mark is broken that people don't know about because they idiots. You know what I'm saying? The 400 year mark of slavery was broken last Monday, y'all. Uh, well, when? When? March the 20th. You know what I'm saying? March the 20th, biblically and statistically, spiritually, the 400 year mark is broken. You see what I'm saying? Of our slavery as black people. But y'all don't see no results because the Yahweh only looking for real hearts right now. He's separating the wheat from the chaff. So if you are into church, you're going to stay in the church even more. If you are into anything that's led by men, you're going to believe in that. If you're going to be lost, you're going to be lost. If you're going to be homeless, you're going to stay homeless. If you don't want the most high, you're going to be seen for what you are. And this is why I say in the scriptures, he said in the end times is going to happen. He's going to do a separation with one third of people who love him and these other ones who love Satan. So this is just simply what it is. This is why I'm thankful he took me out of church and I've been building this on YouTube for a long time. But now I'm building another outlet because this is the real narrow path. If you want to go find another way, go to church. It's a church around the corner. You're going to hear something totally different. Talking about prosperity and all this. That's why our women messed up now. And what Satan has done, y'all. Long story short, what Satan has done, mainly for you women, he got y'all walking in emotions. You know what I'm saying? And not with the Lord. And church taught you that and religion taught you that, man. And this is why I say, you got a demon around you right now that you didn't let go of. Your oldest son, I guarantee you, you got to you try to talk to him and say, you know what? I want the Lord in my life. Do you want the Lord in your life? Like for real, let's pray and, 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 and try to pray for him. And if he don't want to pray under your house and things like that, he don't want to pray. Or, or you tell him, like, I want you to get a job. I guarantee you, he going to argue with you. He going to have a reason as to whereas to say you owe him or something. You see what I'm saying? And that's because you didn't let them go. You didn't let them. Women, you got to learn how to let things go. Stupid, man. This is why I say I let everything go for the most high. Look at me, yo. The light on me right now. Can't nobody else who ain't spiritual see it. You see what I'm saying? But I let this girl go. That was hard, yo. I let everything go for the most high. That was hard, yo. You see what I'm saying? And this is why I say it ain't no way around it, man. What you think? You special? You got to do the same thing, man. So... It ain't too late for my ladies, man. For you older women out here like that, man, who's, who's fitting the categories of what I said in this message, really look and, and, and start using faith and using his word to filter out the demons that are around you. And he going to show you by what I just said. You got a demon near to you. And he don't give a damn about you. Via be relationships, children. It could be friends or whatever. You know, and only the word and only you being real and obeying can fix this man and like i said stand on his word and watch that demon come out that person man and then what you got to do is you know you you just got to expose the demons in your house first of all and then you got to repent this is your fault man so don't look at my life and look at others lives you know what i'm saying and don't look for no other ways other than just getting to the most high yourself man because a lot of y'all got to repent wrap sackcloth around your head man you know what i'm saying and for you young women, you already know. <laughs> it's your boy Soldier checking out, man. I'm going to have to do a part three to this. Um, a lot of people, you know, certain certain sometimes people come around as I do a message, y'all. You know, because I just draw spirits around me. So I say certain things and it end up going longer because I want to give out meat to anybody who hear it. So this for, you know, this is why I end up going longer than what I said in my freestyle messages because I have to... I don't care who around. And if I see you coming around, I don't care if you're smoking a blunt or whatever. When I'm out in public, I'm going to speak certain things. So certain things you even heard me saying this message was to give out meat for anybody who's around. 
because there's demons around listening to me right now, people watching out the little windows on these jobs and stuff. They're used to this stuff. You see what I'm saying? And destruction got to come for everybody who's hiding in these doors, everybody who around me as well, too. So <laughs> the most high codes are when he's spreading his word. man. He said, my word shall not go out void. It shall accomplish the purpose in which I sent it, man. So may this word go out, man. May Yahweh bless y'all. I didn't have to open up no scriptures. I gave you plenty freestyle messages directly from the throne room. All in this one message. Just freestyle tips and hints, man. For men, for women, you know, but mainly for you women, man. For you older women who's waiting on your blessings, man. It's you. Look around at your life. It's you. And get your ass up, sit on a porch and get some fresh air, man. You've been in the house all day, killing yourself every day for years. Pleasing these bum niggas in your house with the internet. You'll set your house up with internet. Kill yourself with this damn radar radiation just to please these bum ass niggas with the internet. You done done so much. You're killing yourself, man. Tell them to get a fucking job. Times I got to tell you, man. It's your boy Soldier checking out, man. Everybody, everybody the end coming, man. I don't got, I, I don't got no time, yo, to play with nobody, man. So this is for families. This is for men and women. Excuse me for using the little vulgar language, but like I said, if I do not curse at times and release my aggression, I'll be found a liar. Ain't no fakeness over here at me. I'm not finna get in front of no camera and say Shalom, and I know I got, I'm got i high and drunk or something. I came before you honest and real since day one in a chariot, even came while I was high as hell off a of blunt. I was high as hell, I look up, it's a UFO. So you tell me, man, y'all Yahweh looking at the heart. He ain't necessarily looking at where you at right now. See what I'm saying? And this is why I say another one of my uh, subscribers, uh, you were tripping real bad about you broke a dedication uh, that you were doing and you you messed around and smoke a, you smoked a blunt and you were feeling that guilt because of the marijuana kicked in. You felt like you was wrong. Brother, you smoked a blunt, bro. Come on now, bro. Relax, bro. You got it. See, but that's what I'm talking about. Yahweh likes that, man. This brother felt so bad because he smoked a blunt. Brother, brother, <laughs> don't make me laugh like that, bro. The chariot came while I was high as hell off weed, yo. But what I'm saying is I got respect for the most high. Long as you got respect for the most high and you have a, a change of heart in your mind state, he's going to work with you step by step. So, little dog, don't worry about you slipping little things like smoking weed and stuff. You know, ask him to filter that out of you slowly but surely. But at the end of the day, he's looking at the serious decisions you're making. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to punish you because you smoked the blunt, bro. He ain't going to... He he may even draw closer to you while you hide, man. You see what I'm saying? But yet and still, all this stuff has been given to us to put us under a delusion. All these drugs. So, once you learn how to defeat the delusion and praise him no matter what, oh, you got it even more then because the Lord said in his scriptures, he said, you know what I'm saying, said in his scriptures to, 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 to you know, praise him at all times. You know what I'm saying? He said, you know, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your footsteps. All your ways. So he know you're going to mess up and make a mistake. But just because I smoked a blunt and trying to relax in this wicked, corrupted world, that's going to make me praise harder. In all your ways, acknowledge him, man. And that's why I'm telling you. I can even finish this message off with that, y'all, before I keep going, man. In all your ways, acknowledge the most high. And he will direct your footsteps, man. A lot of you all, you acknowledging what you want to acknowledge, but you ain't acknowledging this devil that's right next to you. This devil you sleeping in the bed with, waking up, brother. <laughs> waking up with, brother. Waking up with, sister. You sleeping with the devil. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But then you will block that out and acknowledge the Lord when you get a blessing or when something coming your way, you feel like it's him. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, listen, this and that. Because you want something in your hands. You see what I'm saying? So you acknowledge the Lord in certain areas because you want to be blessed in, the, in an area. But when you look at what he really wants you to acknowledge, you see what I'm saying? That devil in your in your son, that devil that you're sleeping in the bed with, you don't want to acknowledge that. Powerful stuff. I can finish this message off, y'all. Part three going to be on speaker, yo. And like I said, yo, <laughs> this all praise to the most high, man, because he just flowed this through me right now. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He shall direct your footsteps, y'all. This is what he's doing for me right now. Here's my rear guard. Let me show y'all this chariot, man. Let me show y'all this chariot. 
before I even aim up at the chariot, the whole background turned white, yo. You see that? I sold it to y'all yesterday, but I took that message down because I gave a lot of details out on where areas I go to, and I got a lot of stalkers. You know what I'm saying? But yet and still, y'all, the light is protecting me. I ain't, I ain't scared of nothing. And this is why I say, once you boldly acknowledging him in all your ways, oh, he going he gonna to submerge you in his light. He's going to protect you with his angels. He's going to keep you out of trouble. You understand what I'm saying? The black Lord. The black Lord. You see what I'm saying? Powerful stuff, man. I can go on and on and on. But I'm going to shut this down for become like 30, 40 minutes, man. Because y'all know how I be in the morning, man. So I'm about to go back to the trenches. Keep on ministering the souls. Doing what he called for me to do. You got to get excited on what he's telling you to do, man. You got to get excited for this stuff. At first, I didn't want to do none of this. But now that I know that he's with me and I got proof, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Praise Yahweh, baby. And that's why I say, I'm starting to tell, as so long as I see this light on me, y'all, y'all see it. Look at that. Y'all see that? I'm going, I, if you a devil around me, I'm checking you right away. You see what I'm saying? Just yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Some demonic, funny looking college students, you know what I'm saying? Who think they the shit or some shit. And they fucking red, these are the type of red devils I'm talking about. You damn demonic college students who, who, who've been raised at the dinner table to call us Hebrews niggas and stuff. It's a legacy that these folks, these demonic fake racist fucking bastards and these demons have built on this earth against us Hebrews. They hate us deeply, yo. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about I just get on the scene. This bitch, ugly ass white bitch, no, I'm Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? And she get the mumbling. You know, or some shit she was saying, but you know how soldier get. I didn't give a damn if I was in front of cops on the white side of town or none of that shit. I said, bitch, shut your white ass up. I slap them, slap that redness off your damn face, bitch. I'm Hebrew. Shut the fuck up, ho. And she just stopped talking. You see what I'm saying? And that's what I'm gonna continue to do. I'm finna start. The end time is here, y'all. I'm finna start checking all you devils to your damn face. I'm finna start checking devils to their face. Ain't no more hole in my tongue. If you say a racist remark to me, I might knock your teeth out. If you if you disrespect the Lord in front of me, I'm going to break your face. If you disrespect my walk with the Lord, try to stop me, I'm ripping your head off your neck, man. And I'm going to leave you a dead fucking pile of bones on the ground, man. This ain't no game. I'm a gangster for the Lord. This is why he loved me, yo. This is why I say wartime coming, man. Wartime, I'm experiencing this in the physical, man. And these demons, they know time is up. These demonic little little racist folks in these fucking college dorms and all this stuff. All you fuckers finna be obliterated by the hands of Hebrew black men. And we're gonna have y'all in chains. We're gonna be lynching y'all, hanging y'all from trees and shit. Just like y'all did, y'all ancestors did to us. Cause I see this spirit, man. Fuck y'all, man. Y'all racist devils. Let me get up out of here, y'all. Let me get up out of here. I get real heated. Cause I'm out here in the real world, y'all. Real talk, man. And this is why I say. Us Hebrews, it's time to rise, man. Slavery over with, man. You ain't about to put me in a no, you ain't about to put me in no chance. I don't know what y'all did to my ancestors, but I'm getting revenge for my ancestors and their blood, man. Fuck y'all, man. Y'all devils. In the name of Yahweh Ben Yahweh, man. It's your boy checking out, man. I love y'all, man. For my real ones, this ain't no racism intended pertaining to the way you thinking, man. I love each and every last race. Who love the most high with your heart, man. And who respect this walk, man. Because this is the real way the Lord wanted us to walk with him and reach y'all, man. As Hebrew men. As a true chosen disciple. This is the way he wanted us to reach y'all, man. Not like no fat pastor telling you to put a collection out, man. Telling you to put some money in the basket, man. I do this for free, man. So that's why I say, man. All my other different beautiful colors and races. It's only going to be 10% of y'all who make it. 90% of y'all, I'm seeing this. Y'all demons. Y'all been raised to call us niggers and shit. Fuck y'all. I'm going to rip you up. I'm going to rip you up. I'm going to fucking rip you apart. Fucking devil. It's your boy checking out, man. I love y'all, man. Stay tuned. This is why y'all wait with me, man. Can't no cop stop me. I ain't going to be no Trayvon Martin out here. The Lord is really with me. And we coming, man. It's time, man. Don't you know how tired I am of you devils? It's time, man. I see this shit, man. Racism fucking devils. 
Women get it together. Brothers get it together, man. Support me on my lines, man. It's your boy checking out. I love y'all, man. Stay tuned, man. I'm, I'm getting real emotional right now, y'all. Let me get out of here, man. I love y'all, man. Stay tuned.